So like I said in the title here, we do have uh, 18 new Switch games coming to the Switch eShop proper. And then in addition to that, we do have uh, three new games hitting the Nintendo Switch online service too. So there is, you know, 20 or there are 21 different titles coming this week. Overall, I think there's a lot left to be desired. I, I think you guys will will see when we get to that point that, yeah, there's ew, there's not a lot here this week. At least at least for me, there's a not not a lot here. Um, and in just a moment, if you are here, do me a favor, say hey. Looks like we might be having some slight issues on YouTube, but it could be something totally on my end as well. Um, again, we do go through and discuss the new Switch games each and every week uh, when we are rocking and rolling. And without any further ado, we are going to get started. And this week, one of the things that I was really shocked and surprised by was the fact that so few of the titles coming out this week actually had videos in the eShop. That's why I was actually a couple minutes late getting the stream up and rolling, was I had to get the videos prepped and, and rolling in here. And we are going to start with Mark of the Ninja, and this one is $19.99, and you do get 100 Nintendo eShop coins. And let's check out the video that we have for this one right here. In Mark of the Ninja Remastered, you'll know what it truly is to be a ninja. You must be silent, agile, and clever to outwit your opponents in a world of gorgeous scenery and flowering animation. Marked with cursed tattoos giving you heightened senses, every situation presents you with a number of different options. For the first time, you can enjoy this critically acclaimed game as well as the additional special edition content on the go. Much like some of the things that we've seen as of late for the Switch, this game originally came out in, I believe, it was 20. 14. So this is not exactly fresh content for the Switch. But it does provide us true stealth experience, player-centric gameplay rewards choice, be it finishing the game without killing anyone or assassinating all who stand in your way. Uh, you do get special edition DLC where you get Dosen's Tale, where it adds a new character level, items, and developer commentary. Enhanced visuals, both cinematic and gameplay visuals, have been lovingly remastered to offer some exquisite detail in here. It now also, from an audio standpoint, supports 5.1 surround sound with remaster audio. And then you have a game plus. Finish the game and unlock this mode, offering new challenges and rewards. Now, this is a one-player action platformer. It is $19.99. And, I mean, this really... In a lot of ways, I'm not going to say it's a Metroidvania. I'll just say it reminds me a little bit of Dead Cells. Uh, but this is Mark of the Ninja Remastered, and this comes out on the 9th. Now, on the 10th, to coincide with the launch of the new movie coming out, is Ghost Bumps, Goosebumps the Game. And this is $29.99, and you do get 150 Nintendo eShop coins. And uh, this is basically, it's a game based on R.L. Stein's famous Goosebumps monsters released from their books and looking to wreck havoc. You'll need to use your wits to investigate the surroundings, puzzle out clues, and outsmart the monsters before it is far too late. Um, you will have to survive a trek through your neighborhood, unravel the mysteries of the dead house, and sneak through the mall after hours. Only then can you confront Slappy and stop his plans for revenge. This really reminds me of a lot of the early point-and-click style games that came out for the NES. Uh, Maniac Mansion is the first one that really comes to mind for me that this reminds me of. I'm going to take off my 2018 NL champion, uh, NL Central Champions hat here, just throwing some weird shadows on my face. And, I mean, this is definitely, you can tell if you are a fan of the Goosebumps... Uh, Hey, John, how you doing? If you're a fan of the Goosebumps series, definitely something that has not only that uh, that storytelling, but also that animation style as well. And this one, again, is $29.99, 150 Nintendo eShop coins, and this comes out tomorrow on October the 9th. Now, the next one here, I apologize. I will probably butcher the name, but this is 
Dysgea 1 Complete. This is $49.99, and this also comes out on Peggy the 9th, 12. too. And this is a beloved sort of RPG, which is probably why I don't know much about it. Not a big RPG fan myself. And this basically is being released to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the Dysgea series, the groundbreaking game that started all returns for modern controls in beautiful HD. Relive the expanded adventures of Lajero, Etna, and Florine in Dysgea 1 Complete. It is one player, and they are listing it as RPG action adventure game. Who said I was dead? I am very. You know, the cool thing about this, too, is the fact that it sounds like they have all the uh, the voice acting and whatnot that you could want ready to That's rock right. and roll. In I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. Your humble vassal, Etna, will accompany you. Why is it that you, you know, from a graphical standpoint, it absolutely does look great. I mean, it's, I it's right something there. that you can I'm tell that they spent a lot of time and effort bringing up to you know current generation consoles to make it look good and it does look really good here on the switch uh, if you are an rpg fan this is a series not an rpg fan myself but something that you may definitely want to go ahead and check out now this one again comes out uh, on the 9th it will not only be available for the switch but also if you have the ps4 to be available on that too And here you can see some of the stills and whatnot. Really one of those, I was surprised that Nintendo did not have a video preloaded in the eShop for this bad boy right here. And that is $49.99. Now, on the 10th, this one is Shift Happens. That's right. I got to say, I do like the name. Uh, and this one is $14.99. And let us get that video rolling for you. Peggy 3. In Shift Happens, two yellow, two jello jelly creatures, Bismo and Plom, get connected in a tragic yet funny accident and thus can exchange their size and abilities at will. Welcome to the world of Shift Happens, the only game which doesn't take a closer look at the body mass index where players can actually be forced to work together and occasionally stab each other in the back. You explore a freaked out laboratory where Bismo and Plom had their accident. Uncover the secrets of the overgrown green forest and survive the dry canyons where deadly winds await you just to prepare you for the bitterly cold caves. The twist, Shift Happens, is pure fun Baby for solo three. players. He has full potential can only be experienced together. Play it with your best friend while they are hanging around with you on the couch enjoying a pizza. Together, together you can solve puzzles and fight over precious coins. Coordination and communication are key to a successful journey. And it's one of those that they really do recommend using the Nintendo gamepad, the Pro gamepad, the Pro controller, this bad boy here. But you got to do something special to get this one. So you guys will see this in an upcoming video. There's over 40 levels of handcrafted fun. You know, when I scroll my mouse wheel, it doesn't scroll the uh, content here on my TV. There's over 40 levels of gameplay of handcrafted fun, Thank local co-op, extra challenges and rewards in the levels for completionists. More than 30 different levels designed for the single-player mode, eight unlockable bonus levels, four single and four multiplayer, and there's a time challenge for each level as well. The one thing that's kind of a bummer is it doesn't look like there is any sort of online co-op play, which, since co-op is so important to this game, I'm really... Uh... Oh, very cool, John. Um... You know, something I'm kind of disappointed that you can't play online with it. But this is Shift Happens. $14.99 comes out on October the 10th. The World Ends With You Final Remix is $49.99. And this one gets you 250 Nintendo eShop coins. And this is another one that we mentioned a couple weeks ago. Jet Grind Radio with, I forget what... Uh, what game it was, but this is another one that kind of has that Jet Grind Radio feel to me, and this is a definitive version of a modern RPG classic. Complete the mission or face erasure, it's all Neku knows after regaining consciousness in the middle of a busy intersection without his memories. Now he and his partner must fight to survive a life or death game in this twisted tale with more turns than the urban labyrinth of Tokyo that they are trapped in. Um... 
This definitive version of Square Enix's RPG Classic brings the dark story to life on the Switch system, along with an extra chapter, exclusive two-player combat, and some killer, newly remixed music. In the crowded chaos of Tokyo, players of the Reaper's game must complete daily missions or face total erasure. Niku might not be enthusiastic about forging relationships, but with his very life on the line, he'll need to learn how to work together with a partner, and fast, they only have seven days. Gear up with a stat-enhancing tread and collect mysterious pins and unleash psychic abilities in battles. Take control of real-time, action-fueled RPG battles using touch control or the Joy-Con controllers with new features in addition to all the content from the Nintendo DS and mobile versions. The definitive version of this modern classic is finally here. It is one or two players, so you can get that, that two-player co-op mode if it is something that you really want to do. Um, very much an action RPG, I would say. Um, maybe more RPG than action for myself. Never played the series before, um, but it's one of those where if you are a fan of the series, you can now finally take it with you on the go with all the DLC with you on the Switch for $49.99. Tricky Towers! I really appreciate this game this week because it is the first one. It has a video right in the overview. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that. This one is $14.99 and does include 75 Nintendo eShop coins. Let's check out the clip. Hopefully. So I'm definitely picking up a Tetris vibe, but where you actually have to build a a platform or a tower, and if it collapses, you're you're done. Does have local and online co-op. Almost reminds me a little bit with the way the animation was right there with the blocks falling, the tetroids, I would call it. Uh, reminded me almost of Angry Birds a little bit. So let's check out our description here. Um, not go backwards, you dummy. Read more. Uh, well, you're, with your brilliant robe and magic powers, it's time to build some tricky towers. Stack your bricks in this land of fable, whose marvelous tower will be the most stable. Cast your magic to support your construction and fend off dark spells to avoid destruction. Battle your friends and rise to fame in this frantic physics party game. I gotta love a good limerick, just like the next guy. Um, it does support online play, two to four player locally, two to, or two to four online, one to four player locally. Uh, fourteen ninety nine. If you are a fan of Tetris, this is one I would definitely suggest checking out. It actually, looks like it'd be quite some fun. The Swindle is up next. This comes out on the eleventh. It is normally fourteen ninety nine on sale for eleven ninety nine, and that sale ends on the eleventh. So if you pre order it, you do get the sale. So let's check out the video on the Swindle. If you are here with us in the live stream, I do appreciate you coming by. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, and make sure you stick around. We're going to do a little bit of a post show, too. Very steampunk in the uh, the graphic style and everything. Musically, almost reminds me a little bit of Super Castlevania 4. Quad jump boots, that's an interesting uh, way to maneuver your character. Seems a little bit on the cheap side, but eh. Sounds good, John. Like I say, hang tight for the post show, and we'll, we'll go through it uh, in there. So I'm seeing a lot of action in this game, but I'm not seeing a lot of description as far as what the point of the game is. 
Randomly generated levels. No two heists will be the same. Is it kind of like a an escape room? Let's take a look. Swindle is a steampunk cybercrime caper all about breaking into buildings, hacking their systems, stealing all their cash, and quickly running away again before the police show up. Okay. Um, in 1849 London, uh, Scotland Yard will soon activate its breakthrough surveillance technology, the Devil's Basilisk. Its surveillance capabilities will be total, and your career as a master thief will be over. Steal it before that can happen. From the safety of your rickety airship, you can modify your thief with new skills, tools, and all manner of technologi technological horrors to tackle the wealthiest and most secure buildings in all of London. All the buildings you'll be robbing are randomly generated, so you have, uh, you'll have you never have the same level twice. Do you have what it takes to pull off the swindle? One player, eleven ninety nine. Neat graphic style. Not enough substance there for me story-wise. Chasm also comes out on the 11th. This is $19.99 and does include uh, 100 Nintendo eShop coins. And this is really a neat-looking game. I know when I saw the video initially, I thought it was pretty cool. And in this action-adventure game, you play a new recruit undertaking your first mission for the Gideon Kingdom. Uh, thrilled to prove your worth as a knight, you track strange rumors to that mine vital to that a mine vital to the kingdom has been shut down. But what you discover in the mining town is worse than you imagine. The townspeople have all disappeared, kidnapped by supernatural creatures emerging from the depths. Horror bound to solve the mystery and restore peace to the kingdom, you embark upon an epic adventure with deadly battles against cunning monsters, exploration of ancient catacombs and castles, and powerful new equipment hidden at every turn. Through the overall story, or though the overall story is the same for all players, your hero's journey will be unique. Each of the rooms has been hand-designed, and a behind-the-scenes chasm stitches these rooms together into a one-of-a-kind world map that will be your own. This is a single-player action-adventure platformer RPG. Ah, sorry, I dropped the mouse. So it does have a lot of different aspects to it. I'm not going to call this a Metroidvania game, um, but... You know, very, very clean-looking graphics. I definitely dig the way the graphics look on this. Um, the transitions from scene to scene look really, really good, too. You know, visually, just a, a really pretty-looking game. And with the, the medieval tones, I think that's kind of where I get the, the Castlevania vibe from this. And that is Chasm, available on the 11th. I just need to... Whoop, there we go. So, also coming up on the 11th, this is Juggernauts. It is normally $14.99 on sale for 20% off, so you get it for $11.99. And let us check out the video, because this is really... This is a multiplayer party game. Jog, jump, and switch to match colors. Okay, jog, now the story jog, or the sale ends on the 11th. Colors. Yes. Coordinate with yourself. Nice. Cooperate with a friend. There are aspects a little bit here of Little Big Planet, uh, the third one that this reminds me of, when you had the the multiple characters in that game. Switch through over 20 levels across three alien worlds. Unlock hidden characters. Collect all the trophies. Now this is one of them where if you don't have multiple people to play with, I, I don't know that it's something that you're really going to enjoy a whole lot. I don't know that the single player campaign is going to be as worthwhile as if you do have that multiplayer. You might kind of hit that frustration factor sooner than later. Uh, also coming out on the 11th, Child of Light, the Ultimate Edition. And I know this is one that has been just beloved for years on the RP, excuse me, on the RPG scene. And here it is now, 19.99, no Nintendo eShop coins for Child of Light. 
And in Child of Light, you'll join Aurora on her journey to save her ailing father and lost kingdom in the magical world of Lumiere. Along the way, she'll discover that her destiny may be far greater than she dreamed. Um, it is the you know game from the award-winning uh, Patrick Pluard and Jeffrey Yoham, and this is Child of Light. Encounter eccentric creatures from wicked witches to evil sea serpents and discover the vast land of Lem Lemuria. Fight alongside your allies and upgrade your stats. Unlock unique abilities and use those unique gems to improve your skills. Work together with your allies to solve puzzles and search for mysteries. Experience a story carefully crafted in verse and rhyme with an original soundtrack uh, where you can play anytime and anywhere, especially with the Switch, where you can play either on the TV or... Or on the go. Now, one thing here, uh, when getting this video ready to rock and roll, I did have some minor issues uh, with the audio. That's why you don't hear anything coming through right now. Let me know too in the chat if everything's going okay with the stream quality. I'm seeing some uh, some bugginess on my end. I want to make sure everything is working okay. But that is Child of Light, comes out on the 11th and is 19 uh, For those not familiar with the series, this is a one to two player game. It is considered to be a, an action platformer with RPG and adventure strategy characteristics to it as well. Feral Fury, this one also comes out on the 11th. And let's check out the video, it's eight ninety nine. Rated team. Okay, first and foremost, I will say this reminds me of Smash TV for the Super NES and for the arcade. And if you can use both sticks, like on the Pro Controller or on the Joy-Con, that would make this game outstanding. Big money! Big prizes! I like it! That's one of those games, with, especially now that you know controllers have twin sticks on them. I can't believe someone hasn't gone back and redone Smash TV. The best way to play that game back in the day was if you had two NES Advantage joysticks and you would stick them side by side and you could actually play with twin joysticks. May the soil we conquer nurture the holy seals, seeds of the great bamboo. Long after humankind perished in the flames of the oil wars, the great panda empire is expanding throughout the galaxy as the new dominant power. With the old world in ashes and an endless need for bamboo, entire planets are turned into plantations and the flames of war are lit once again. There's 15 procedurally generated stages split into five different chapters. Tons of items including helmets, weapons, drones, power-ups, scrolls, and more. You can collect orbs to unlock permanent upgrades, find secret stages, and hidden keys to unlock special shops and merchant. Unlockable characters, 28 challenges, and you can keep track of your loot with an in-game compendium. Uh, it is a single-player game. Comes out on the 11th, and I'll say so far, game of the week for me. Battle 2 Group, uh, this is $9.99, and again, initially, my first reaction to this is it looks like a mobile game ported to the Switch, but let's check it out. A deadly new group of terrorists has emerged. The Talon seeks vengeance for an unknown crime, commanding seemingly unlimited resources and striking against innocents with precision, efficiency, and savage force. They take no prisoners, but then again, neither do we. Uh, Battle Group 2 puts you in control of an advanced naval fleet assembled as a last resort against this deadly new enemy. Command powerful battleships and fire newly developed satellite strikes in a final strike against this deadly new terrorist superpower. This is a single player game, no online multiplayer to this either. In some ways, it almost reminds me of like a top-down version of UN now. Squadron, one of the best side-scrolling shoot-'em-ups on the Super NES. Um, you got some Transformers in my Switch game there. I'm just going to throw that out there.
So that is Battle Group 2, also comes out on the 11th. Also on the 11th, we're going to kind of bring these next three games kind of into one. Game Dev Story, Dungeon Village, and Hot Springs Story, they're all from the same developer, and they're all from Kairosoft. Uh, they're all $12, and they all come out on the 11th. And here we'll give you a look really quick at Dungeon Village because we actually have a video of that one here. Now, in Game Dev Store, you'll manage your own game company and try to create a million dollar selling game in this unique simulation. Uh, features the ability to develop your company's own game console plus a system for changing your staff members' profession. Your staff members can have a variety of game related professions from programmer to sound engineer. That is a single player RPG. Now, with Dungeon Village, uh, this you will build a heroic hamlet that warriors and merchants can all call home. Uh, welcome to an epic RPG world um, in which the town you build can grow from humble hamlet into Mecca for the land's most ambitious in, uh, adventurers. This is more of, I would say, like a Sim City almost. Um, you can build training facilities like combat schools and magic labs. Uh, the more faces that flock to your cause, the bigger the baddies you can beat. The all-new cauldron feature also allows you to test your uh, alchemic experience. Toss items obtained from quests or shops into the cauldron, and your armory might receive a rare addition. No dungeon is too deep. Make your village the crown estate of this bold RPG narrative. And finally, in Hot Springs Story, you will build and manage the ultimate Japanese Hot Springs Inn. With rooms, restaurants, arcades, and baths, Position each facility to lull your guests into hot spring nirvana and skyrocket your establishment into fame. Craft the perfect Japanese garden from lanterns, pine trees, azaleas, and more. You'll need it all if you want to attract VIPs like pop stars and novelists. Turn your device to rotate the screen, touch to scroll, and pinch to zoom in and out. That is the three coming this week uh, from uh, the creators of Dev Story, Dungeon Village, and Hot Spring Story. Now, also on the 11th, Iris School of Wizardry, Vinculum Hearts. Sorry about that. $24.99, and I was not able to find any information or any video on this game whatsoever. So basically in this, you'll be attending uh, with not only from the wealthiest of families, but also smart and talented boys and girls attend. School life, romance game, it's just bad, bad translation from Japanese into English. Um, basically, it is a school-based RPG set in fantasy Japan, I would say. Kind of some Harry Potter wizarding aspects to it. Um, just very poor translations top to bottom. Um, and I think seeing the fact that we actually have non-English characters in here... Um, I think English was secondary for their primary or for their, their focus on this. Boom Ball Boost Edition. This comes out on the 11th as well. And the 11th is really the big day for games this week. And let's check out the video. Rated E for everyone. That is a neat mechanic there, being able to use the Joy-Con almost like a Wii Remote, um, and actually having... It's a 3D Arkanoid is what it looks like to me. Those two dudes were totally not playing that game right there. They were just waving their hands like morons. The touchscreen version, that's an interesting aspect of it. We don't see... I'm actually surprised we don't see more games that utilize the touchscreen functionality. Um, this features a cheerful arcade action with Maniac Multi-Ball Mayhem. Two ways to play, motion controls and touchscreen. 
instant two-player mode, just hand off one of the controllers. Uh, there's 24 balls that you can juggle simultaneously. Yeah. Boost power, time your boost perfectly for more speed and explosions. Uh, meet explosive rectangular sheep and much silliness over 60 different levels. HD rumble, which if you've not experienced it yet, is actually really, really cool. Uh, reach goals like gold time and no balls lost to unlock new paddles and bonus levels. Turbo mode for the ultimate reaction challenge, and you can go ballistic with boom ball. It is one or two player, local only, no online aspect to it as well. Uh, Twelve ninety nine comes out on the eleventh. Matarica Real Estate. This is going to wrap things up for this week, and kind of a lackluster week, at least with the eShop proper. But we're not done with what's coming out this week for the Switch. Let's check out uh, Matarica Real Estate. This game is $14.99, and you'll enjoy solving puzzles with floor plans, floor plans and pencils. I'm sorry, I'm a little congested right now. Uh, the study material for this game would be the floor plan for corresponding house of the game stage. Uh, you would drop down the magic spell. Would Again, another game with bad translations. Would you drop down the magic spell or hints on the floor plans? The floor plans are not only for dropping notes. You might need to cut it or fold it. There are 20 stages in each. Uh, each of them would have its own various features and traits. Um, you can move your viewpoint and study hints. Close your eyes and cast magic spells. You are taking on the role of a, of a new blood of real estate agency. Matarica Real Estate is the only real estate agency providing houses which are not haunted and are safe for stay. President Matarica ordered you to exercise evil spirits with the magic in order to make them sellable. The hints of beating the evil spirits have been hidden in those inhabiting properties, also the mysterious floor plans given by President Matarica. Find out the hints and solve the riddle with pen and paper for your obtaining magic spells. Beat the evil spirits and complete your mission. They classify this as an adventure puzzle communication game. Um, it is one player and it actually does support cloud saves as well. Trippy sort of graphics in here, I would say. I mean, very much a point-and-click adventure, um, but I wouldn't say as much as what was it that we had earlier that kind of came off like that. Um, goosebumps, I would say. Um, you know, not like goosebumps at all. But that is Matarica's real estate challenge, and that is going to wrap it up for the main games coming to the Nintendo Switch. This week. Now, there are three additional games coming to the Switch this week in terms of the Nintendo Switch online service. And uh, again, it's one of those if you don't have one already, why not? Um, it's 20 bucks a year, it's pretty cheap. Uh, something I really recommend. Excuse me. And it's also something that if you now want to play online, you need to pay that fee. But you do get the, uh, you know, initially the 20, 10 games, 20 games. Let's check out what we have here again. I don't remember the exact count of the games that we had. You can see what I was playing last night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 21. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty games. I thought that's what it was. Counting is hard. It's hard when you're congested too. Um, there are three more games coming out later on this week. Um, it will be Solomon's Key. It will be Dodgeball. Uh, Super Dodgeball, actually, in NES Open Tournament Golf. And those are all great games. Um, those come out on the 10th for the Nintendo Switch through the eShop. There's nothing special that you have to do for that whatsoever if you already have the Switch Online membership. If you don't, like I say, it's only $20, and that'll get you taken care of that. Now, for those of you in the live chat, hang tight. We're gonna, we are going to do a little bit of a 
post show here. For those of you watching after the fact, I do want to thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That way, each and every time we do go live, you are uh, basically hit up with a notification. Also, let you know when we do come out with new videos, we do have new stuff planned and we are going to be going live quite a bit next week when we are at the portland retro gaming expo um, if you do have any comments or questions about anything that we talked about on this show or anything about gaming in general you can always hit me up on twitter at rock solid studios uh, you can also go ahead and send me an email over at rock solid mail at gmail.com you can also hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions. And if you missed any of those, don't worry. After the fact, we'll have all the links in a pin post down below uh, where you can check everything out. Now, if you want to go ahead and help support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. Uh, one of the best ways to do it is head on over to our Teespring store. Uh, link is on screen right now. And we do have some new designs up there, not only featuring the Super NES-style cartridge, uh, like what you see there, but NES and N64, too. And as well, I do got to thank my good friend Ryan over at CastleManiaGames.com. Uh, just saw yesterday it had been a year officially that Ryan has been a supporter of the channel. And I've actually been a supporter of his for uh, a little bit longer than that. He's got some cool stuff over there. Make sure you check out CastleManiaGames.com. And on any orders, $20 and higher you do qualify for free shipping and handling and on most items on the store too if you use promo code ROX10 you'll also save 10% on your orders um, and then don't forget too that the Milwaukee Brewers are the 2018 National League Central Champions had to do it sorry had to be done but for those of you who are uh, here, like I say, live in the chat now, we've got John here, a couple other guys and gals here. Stick tight. We are going to do a little bit of a post show. But for everybody else, I am Gary. This has been Rock Solid Productions and this week's episode of Switch It Up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.